Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. We're here with my son, Isaac Allen, the youngest of the three, at the local uh, swimming hole. And he has just found this uh, dandelion, and he's got uh, a question to ask a very uh, informed and special uh, lady. Go ahead, Isaac. Brad Chick, is this uh, a muted dandelion from Fukushima? I don't know if she heard you. You're a little ways away. Speak up. Is it a mutated dandelion from Fukushima? Who are you asking? Rad Chick. Rad Chick? Why would you ask Rad Chick? Uh, I forget. You forget? Yeah. Oh. You told me to. You're too shy to tell her, huh? No, I forget what I, like, <laughs> I really I forget. Okay, anyway, there you go, Christina. Uh, I, I don't know. How tall is that thing, Isaac? Put it on the ground. It, it's so it's like over three feet tall. Uh, I've never seen a dandelion that big here in New Hampshire in my life. Uh, Isaac never has either. So anyway, there you go. Maybe a mutation from Fukushima right there. Much love, many thanks, and I'll see you soon. Okay, everybody, back with you quickly. Uh, Isaac recommended that I actually measure the dandelion, and so I've done that, and you can see it is, uh, like we had said, about three feet, maybe an inch more, uh, if it were completely straight, you know. But uh, anyway, uh, Christina, when you see this, let me know if you want me to uh, mail this out to you. I will. I Probably the biggest dandelion I've ever seen in New Hampshire is probably 18 inches, and that looked like a monster. This thing is derelict. Uh, is it a result of Fukushima? I don't know, but I can bet that Christina Consolo will at least have uh, some input on the possibilities. Much love, many thanks, and I'll see you soon.